Hi everyone, it's Cress aka Lady Talk again, and no, this is not my Roman style video for today. I will be having that tomorrow because there's still another thrift store sale to go to tomorrow. So thought I'd wait and do the whole rummage sale thing, although most of it is thrift store shopping because Guinea's had bag sale in my town, another town we went to had a different bag sale, and then tomorrow Goodwill has half off. So we will see then. But this is more of my tigers and looks like advertising and fun toy mix up in the other bin. So I will start with Snoopy. See I knew I had another Snoopy already. Look he came with a ribbon on him. And when I picked up the other one the other day. But it is a different one. But I will probably have to figure out which one I'm keeping and which one's going away. Because I just don't have that much room. This is Cooler from the Pound Puppies. And this is my original Cooler from when I was a kid. And you know that because my mom had to perform a rhinoplasty on him and give him a nose job. Because I dropped him in the supermarket one day and his nose meshed the pieces because it was a hard nose. So she had to make him a new nose. And... <coughs> Excuse me. We have another piece of my advertising collection. Chester Cheetah, who needs his shoes tied again. And he still has his original Chester Cheetah tag. Uh, he is 21 inches. Yeah, this is a really big beanie for me. Uh, Frito-Lay uh, corn chips guy and stuff like that. And he does have eyes under here, but his glasses do not move. And then we've got a cute, adorable Stitch. He's a little bigger than I normally click to, but he, again, I usually spend anywhere from a quarter to a buck on any of these, so. And here's a Pooh Bear. I got a classic Pooh the other day, but this one's kind of weird because his shirt's actually the same material as the rest of him, which I have found interesting. Here's another one of my toys from childhood. It's Star Bright from Rainbow Bright. And look, her tail's still braided from when I braided it as a kid. And I can't believe that rubber band hasn't broken off just on old deteriorating age. That's funny. Oh, this looks like it's got a lot of cartoon characters in it. Here's Gopher from Winnie the Pooh. Appropriate him coming up like that. And oh, I do have Wally already. See, I had to go through these toys eventually so I can write them all down into my phone. So I have a list of me so I don't repeat buying things. I don't even remember when I picked him up, but he is cute and adorable, and he's a little plushy one. This one, someone took some loving care to. It is Tigger. But, oh, got to fix that. Someone has punked Rock Tigger out, including, I think, drawing on what they were starting to do a tattoo. He's got chains on, scarves, a mohawk tied to his head, and a cute leather jacket. <laughs> Sorry, I, I like when people get creative like that. A few more Disney. Jimmy Cricket. Again, sometimes I take the tags off, sometimes I don't. This was originally $6. <laughs> I doubt I paid that. And here's Robin Hood. The foxy Robin Hood from the Disney version. And next three are all Dalmatians, and apparently someone was really clicking them. Because they have tag protectors. This one's Pepper. With a purple collar. <laughs> a penny with the pink collar. And Patch. With another blue collar on him. No, oh, he's got the one eye that's different. And here is 
Timothy Mouse from Dumbo. Oh, actually, in much better shape than I remember him. He still even has the tag. Could have sworn he was in that good shape, but that's a good thing to find. Here's Gloria the Hippo from Madagascar. And this is one of my toys from a kid. This is like a homemade Care Bear kind of thing. It's Friendship. Fun time friend. Fun time friend. Bear. So. It's a different version of a Care Bear. Although it does kind of seem like it would have been a real Care Bear at one point. Because there's a tag on here and it's got the little heart thing. So I don't know if it was just a different one. One of the few I didn't sell when I started college. Lots of my, especially my Care Bear cousin ones, they paid for my first year, semester's textbooks. Here's Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh. And he's a little bigger than I like to collect usually, but again, he must have been cheap enough. This is actually by Fisher Price. And here's another Tigger. This one I bought when I was on vacation. I only remember I bought this one on vacation because this one comes with a bouncy, trouncy tail. Uh, I have monochromatic Minnie Mouse, Goofy, who came with a pet tag protector as well, Mickey for Kids Star Bean, and then this was a dog I, I won at some thing for like Upward Bound or one of those summer camp things, I, I know I won him then. Oh. Rufus, you're all dirty. Rufus needs a cleaning. Might have to leave him out to get clean. That That's Rufus the Naked Mole Rat, if you don't know, remember Kim Possible? Ron's pet. Uh, a little tiny Pumba. It's close to Moan's hiding in there, too. Oop, there he is. Is that the same? Although, in reality, don't you think this should be a little bigger than this one? This should be the... Timon should be tinier. But, whoops, um, little, uh, fish, apparently it did something at one point, but, and we had Stitch earlier, now we have Lilu, and this does come with, if I remember correctly, her bag opens, and you get her little doll as well. Which, I always like Lilo and Stitch. I watched the, the animated series, too. Because she had one adult weird dolls like me. But, so that's why she is big. She's carrying her doll. And then, and I don't know if I, when I picked this one up. But this is one of those sprites from Rainbow Bright. And then here's a Pluto. Big tongue to look you with. And, oh, some littler ones hiding down here. Okay, got a little Captain Jack Sparrow, cute plushie kind of thing from McDonald's. Got a little tiny Blue from the Jungle Book. A little tiny Eeyore. Got Dopey. From the Seven Dwarfs. And I have a Wuzzle who looks like she needs some cleaning. Um, so she's part hippopotamus, part rabbit. Let's see if I can remember her name. Hopopotamus? I'm blanking on her name. But, you know, Wuzzles were all these characters put together. So there was a bumblebee lion called Bumble Lion. There was a bear butterfly that was Butter Bear. There was Moosel, who was Moose and uh, something, Elk, Moose and Eel or something. It was weird, but we have her. And now, that seems to be the rest of my cartoon-related toys and some advertising toys. And then I seem to have found another bin of tigers. I told you I was a big tiger collector. So we'll see how this will fall out. So we got a cute little uh, tiger there. 
No real name brand. Young Roweth Toys. So some really unnamed brand. Uh, we got this cute one, who is a Westcliff Collection Tiger. We have a tiger striped bear that got in there. That was good stuff, brand company. <laughs> oh, looks like Alex the Lion from Madagascar snuck in with the uh, tigers. Smile. Makes me wonder if the zebra's in here. Oh, we got some other toys in the bottom here. Got a classic tigger. Got a really big cuddly one here. And it's by Star, San Francisco. Oh, and here's one of my childhood teddy bears. All mushed up and well loved. His nose really got pushed into him, didn't it? A little squished. Got this one, which is Tippy, apparently. Apparently named Tippy. With the nice green eyes. Oh, here's one of my childhood toys. This is Poochie, my puppy dog. Seriously, I've had that since I was little, and I turned 35 this next week. So, uh, here's another tiger. I told you I collected tigers. This is a Dakin. And, oof. This is a Thai tiger. Came with a black ribbon on it. This is a little hound dog. I think I got him because he just reminded me like of every hound dog in classical movies or TV shows like the hound dog on Dukes of Hazard. Here's my starving student fun bank. Obviously didn't put any in, in the box. Uh, here's Daisy from Blondie, the comic strip. Does still have her tag on there. Uh, here's an, another random tiger in my collection. Let's see. I can't even read the label anymore. That they're, they're, That's that old. The label's that faded. Well, here's Copper from Fox and the Hound. I told you, I once had these all separated out, but apparently they all got mixed up. Uh... Here's Rocky the Lobster, and I think I, I got this when I was in Upward Bound. One of the counselors gave it to me for the camp we were at. Oh, here's a few of my... I told you I didn't collect many Thai Beanie Babies, but... Um, the Bride and Groom doll, and the reason I got these was because of the double rings. Because that... I, I know I bought them in like 2002 or so, because that was when Witchblade was big, and... That was the symbol on someone's hand in it. So. Okay. I think I, this is an octopus my grandmother made me. So again, one of my childhood toys that I've kept. Because no one else is going to have one exactly like it. And then we got a little elk in here going on. This says it's Baby Elk Heart by Floppy Foot Friends. So it even has a name. Alright, I think this is the one from when I was a kid. And then I found one with black ears that was at a rummage sale. But just cute puppies. And of course I bought the one with the black ears because it reminded me of this one that I've had since I was little. Cute little Scotty dog. Geez, you can't even see his eyes in that. They're all covered up. There are there. There are actual eyes there, but he's wearing a cute little bandana. And bear. That is a uh, My Comfort bear. 
So it's a handmade piece, or at least made in small batches. Huh. Wonder where the rest of these went. Thought I had a few more. I think I shirt tails somewhere. Uh, this is Bogey from Shirt Tails. I think you can't even read the shirt tag anymore. It's that faded. So you know this one's really from my childhood. Um, so Bogey was the one who sounded like Humphrey Bogart on the show Shirt Tales. And I think I obviously have to have Tig hiding somewhere because I collected tigers. And I think I have Pam who was the panda bear as well. But apparently there are some still hiding in other boxes. Another random tiger. Another Dakin tiger. Then just a few more. Here's Harry, the dirty dog. And you might know him from a childhood book you read. And then here's a hound dog that I think my grandma also made me. Or someone did. Because uh, it's all this hand-stitched fabric in that. Because you cannot get the sewing machine at the dingo. No. But... So cute. And then the last two. Woody the Woodpecker. And Rogerette. Please. And again, he's larger. I actually had a small Roger Rabbit that stuck to my windshield um, back window in my car. And it literally sun faded so much it was ridiculous. But so the last thing here, Roger Rabbit. So that's eight bins we've been through, and I'm still missing a few. So there must be another bin hiding in storage somewhere. Um, but at least I know the majority of what I have. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.